by our count, which is generally held to be accurate, 2012 is a good eight months away. Yet that fact didn't stop Ford Motor Company from introducing its 2013 Taurus and Taurus show at the New York International Auto Show. And while the presence of the upgraded upcoming model might influence some buyers to hold off on their purchase of a current Taurus, you can understand why Ford wanted to get the news out. First, there's a lot of news to cover, and second, General Motors made news at the show with the introduction of the upcoming Chevy Malibu, which also has some tempting features. Among the biggest pieces of news on the 2013 Taurus is the fact that it will be the first car in Ford's North American lineup to offer a 2-liter EcoBoost engine that uses a turbocharger and direct injection to deliver highway fuel economy that is expected to be at least 31 miles per gallon. Lest you think the engine is too weak to power the substantial Taurus, rest assured it will offer an estimated 237 horsepower. Equally encouraging is the upgrade on the standard 3.5-liter V6, which will get a bump of 27 horsepower, thanks in large part to the addition of twin independent variable camshaft timing. Both engines are teamed with unique six-speed automatic transmissions that are engineered to maximize their special benefits. And in this era of high fuel prices, it's nice to know that a great deal of engineering time went into gasoline-conserving tech like a low-tension accessory drive belt, smart battery management, a variable displacement air conditioning compressor, and reduced friction lubricants. The electric power-assisted steering not only saves gas, it can also be tuned for more responsive handling and better feel. The Ford engineers didn't stop at tweaking the steering either. They also hard-mounted the steering rack and optimized the springs and shocks. Then they dipped into the relatively new art of electronic torque vectoring. The feature, which will be standard on all 2013 Tauruses, applies a slight amount of braking force on the inside front wheel when accelerating through a corner. That provides an effect analogous to that of a mechanical limited slip differential. The result is a vehicle that feels more maneuverable. Working out of the same trick bag, engineers also added curve control, a braking control innovation aimed at averting single car accidents that occur when drivers enter curves too swiftly. The application of so-called smart four-wheel braking can turn a potential crash into a non-event. Additional safety items include adaptive cruise control, collision warning with brake support, blind spot information system, cross-traffic alert, and the My Key Owner Controls feature that enables parents to limit top speeds and audio volume. It can also prevent kids from listening to the adult channels on the satellite radio. To accompany these changes, Ford designers have refined the already handsome and distinctive Taurus exterior. The new Taurus features a more muscular hood and larger wheels and tires that better fill out the wheel well openings. At the rear, larger full LED tail lamps are affixed to the Taurus's heftier haunches, and the show model is graced with an attractive new grille. Inside, materials were upgraded and new features, including a heated steering wheel, multi-contour seats with active motion rolling massage, rear-view camera, and rear window power sunshade were also added. Auto high beams and rain-sensing wipers are other luxury class grade additions. The 2013 Taurus is filled with innovations and it looks better than the current car to boot. Normally a car company wouldn't be tipping its next hand so early, but these are very competitive times and we think the Ford Taurus will be a very competitive car. Join us here for more KVB.com videos.